Introduction In the year 1980, the science fiction genre witnessed a spectacular addition to its ranks, Galactica 1980. This captivating TV series took flight as a sequel to the iconic Battlestar Galactica that aired the previous year, extending the spacefaring saga into a new decade. With its futuristic vision, engaging storytelling, and a cast of talented actors, Galactica 1980 quickly soared to popularity and etched its place in the hearts of sci-fi enthusiasts worldwide. Why was Galactica 1980 so popular? The answer lies in its captivating premise. The series follows the remaining human survivors of the 12 colonies who escaped the destruction of their homeworlds in search of a legendary 13th colony called Earth. Led by the ever-resolute Commander Adama, portrayed by the talented Lorne Green, and joined by the valiant Captain Troy, played by Kent McCord, and the spirited Lieutenant Dillon, portrayed by Barry Van Dyke, the human fleet embarks on a thrilling quest for a new home and a chance to rebuild their civilization. Additionally, Galactica 1980 struck a chord with viewers for its thought-provoking themes and imaginative storytelling. The show deftly explored societal and ethical issues, making it more than just a typical space adventure. It delved into the struggles of adaptation and coexistence with Earth's people, blending alien cultures with human ones, resulting in both heartwarming and humor-filled moments. Notably, the series also introduced the adorable Cylons Charlie and Spectre, an attempt to bring a more light-hearted touch to the show, appealing to a wide range of audiences. Throughout its run, Galactica 1980 featured several esteemed actors and actresses who added depth and charm to the storyline. Among them, Richard Lynch's villainous portrayal as Zavire, a rogue Cylon bent on thwarting humanity's journey, left an indelible mark on fans. As we reminisce about Galactica 1980, we invite you, the viewer, to share your fond memories of this enthralling TV series. Did you follow the thrilling adventures of the ragtag fleet on its quest for Earth? How did the show inspire your love for science fiction, space exploration, or storytelling in general? Your recollections contribute to the enduring legacy of this beloved series. So, do you have any cherished memories or anecdotes about Galactica 1980? We'd love to hear from you. In TV history, certain moments leave indelible marks on sci-fi enthusiasts, like Galactica 1980. It aimed to explore time travel, alternate histories, and the universe's balance. Commander Zavire's enigmatic figure would alter Earth's history forever. Captain Troy and Lieutenant Dillon sought to thwart his plans, shaping mankind's destiny. However, creators shifted focus away from time travel leading to Quantum Leap's birth. Scott Bakula starred as Dr. Sam Beckett, leaping through time and space, righting wrongs. Galactica 1980's legacy inspired Quantum Leap, both resonating with audiences and influencing sci-fi storytelling. These shows exemplify the boundless power of imagination and storytelling, reminding us that the universe is an infinite canvas. They stand as testaments to the courage to explore the unknown and the magic of captivating storytelling. In 1980, Galactica 1980, a captivating sci-fi series and spin-off of Battlestar Galactica, enthralled viewers with its ingenuity. Overcoming budget limitations, the production team crafted a mesmerizing sequence depicting the relentless Cylon assault on Earth. To achieve this spectacle, they ingeniously combined footage from the 1974 disaster film, Earthquake, with their own creations. Blending Cylon fighters seamlessly into the earthquake scenes unleashed a jaw-dropping visual masterpiece. The result showcased the terrifying might of the Cylon fleet intertwined with the destructive force of a natural disaster, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats. The fusion of practical effects and space models was so impeccable that it was hard to distinguish between the two. This resourceful approach epitomized Galactica 1980's spirit, creating grand spectacles despite budget constraints. It highlighted the unwavering dedication of the creative minds behind the series, pushing boundaries to tell a captivating story. The sequence's impact in sci-fi TV history remains unparalleled, a testament to innovation and determination. It reminds us that ingenuity and movie magic can conquer even the most daunting challenges. Galactica 1980's enduring legacy lies in such inventive feats, captivating hearts and minds for generations to come. Witness the beauty of human ingenuity and creative spirit at its finest in Galactica 1980, a true triumph over adversity. This remarkable sequence stands as a testament to the allure of science fiction 
and the unyielding power of storytelling. In the vast cosmos of sci-fi television, Battlestar Galactica stands out, captivating fans with its epic space opera, unforgettable characters, and dazzling effects. Galactica 1980, a short-lived spin-off in 1980, brought back Lorne Green and Herbert Jefferson Jr. as Adama and Boomer. To boost ratings, Dirk Benedict reprised his role as Starbuck, causing anticipation among fans. The final episode showcased the on-screen chemistry and camaraderie of the cast, yet it couldn't fully overcome the challenge of ratings. Despite not matching its predecessor's success, Galactica 1980 added another chapter to the saga, leaving an enduring legacy. As we bid adieu to the stars, their indomitable spirit continues to inspire us, and we hope for another fantastic journey in the Battlestar Galactica universe. In the vast cosmos, Galactica 1980 emerged in the early 80 seconds, leaving an indelible mark on sci-fi. Earth faces annihilation from Cylons, and Commander Adama leads a daring mission to find a new home among the stars. Fate altered plans to reunite with beloved characters like Starbuck and Apollo due to actor unavailability. Budget constraints excluded some originals, but Kent McCord and Barry Van portrayed Troy and Dylan, offering continuity. A new villain, Commander Zavire, heightened intrigue. The series preserved its essence while introducing fresh perspectives, tackling resilience, hope, and human spirit. Though it ended, Galactica 1980's legacy endures, reminding us of the power of determination and storytelling. Farewell to this epic journey. In the cosmos, stars flicker like ancient beacons, civilizations traverse space. In 1980, Galactica 1980 emerged as a beacon of promise, continuing the Battlestar Galactica fleet's quest for survival. Yet, disappointment arose as it shifted focus to Earth settings, losing the essence of its predecessor. Ratings dwindled, leading to cancellation after 10 episodes. Galactica 1980 showcased the spirit of exploration, venturing into uncharted territories. Its highs and lows mirrored the human condition. It reminds us that every journey holds potential for greatness and change. While it may not have succeeded commercially, its legacy endures, echoing humanity's triumphs and trials. Let's honor Galactica 1980, for every story contributes to human creativity. The journey itself defines us, the challenges we face, and the lessons we learn. Farewell, Galactica 1980, your voyage sails on, carrying hopes and dreams. Step back in time to the enchanting era of 1980 when TV screens were graced by Galactica 1980. Among its gems were the turbocycles, real-life modified 1979 Yamaha MX-175 motorcycles. Crafted with passion and expertise, they dazzled audiences worldwide. A dummy half-turbocycle with fixed wings was built for a liftoff scene, but time constraints left it unfinished. Nonetheless, the turbocycles stole the spotlight, becoming symbols of adventure and excitement. One bike was daringly cut in half for unique shots, showcasing the team's commitment to excellence. Decades later, the legacy of these iconic motorcycles lives on, bridging the gap between fantasy and reality. They epitomize the boundless imagination of Galactica 1980's creators, and the dedication of those who brought them to life. The turbocycles, roaring engines, and dazzling wings symbolize humanity's spirit to conquer the unknown and explore the cosmos. Their story reminds us that dreams can transcend reality when fueled by passion and dedication. As long as humans reach for the stars, the legacy of these iconic turbocycles endures, etched into science fiction history. Let us raise our glasses to these Yamaha MX-175 motorcycles, forever etched in the stars in our hearts. Galactica 1980 may be a cherished memory, but the turbocycles legend will inspire generations of storytellers, dreamers, and fans.